Welcome, one and all, to Ten Pines Bluff. This is a, an efficiency build of Ten Pines Bluff. This uh, bit of Oxhorn trivia was my very first settlement, uh, except for Sanctuary, of course. Sanctuary was my first one, but before I got Red Rocket, before I got anything else, this was the first settlement that I got, and it's one of the last ones that I've actually kind of outfitted. So uh, let me go through this settlement, starting with defense, and in order to go through defense, I am going to need <clears throat> to show you the spawn points. So we're going to load up our handy dandy settlement management software and we're going to mark attack spawn points. Here we are. So uh, the first one you notice is right here. Now, uh, let me show you the boundaries of this settlement. This, this spawn point is right on the line. So if you want your turrets to have any kind of space so that their, their missiles can have trajectory or whatever, um, you would have to carve out a huge swath of land here to, um, to put your turrets back, your missile turrets back here so that they could reach the enemy before the enemy got into your settlement. And I didn't want to sacrifice all of that land because I needed it for other things, like uh, like a fire pit and a farm and all of that. So what I did <clears throat> is I put a whole bunch of shotgun turrets down here. Five in total. One, two, three, four, five, and then one spotlight. Now the shotgun turrets, they are more effective at close range, as are shotguns uh, in general, as you know. And so I figure if the, the enemies are all going to spawn here, they're going to spawn into a sea of high-powered shotgun blasts with a spotlight to make sure that they can be seen, surrounded by two guard towers. I've got a guard tower there and a guard tower here with my guards hard at work. So that is spawn location number one. Spawn location number two is way over here, and it was slightly awkward. I actually had a turret system set up down here facing down the hill because I thought, well, they would come up from the uh, hillside, but no. The, the th second spawn location is way over here. I'm going to pick up this shotgun, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So they spawn there, and so I've got a turret system set up here with one missile launcher, uh, a spotlight, and three ballistic missile turrets which is not really enough I don't think um, I'd like to put down a heavy laser turret but I want to see how this works first before I go that way uh, anyway so that's my elevated structure and then my th my third one is over here because this is the next spawn point and this of course is where all the guns are on the ground including this Deathclaw, which attacked me not long ago. Anything else on the ground? No. So they spawn right here, and to greet them, I've got this handy-dandy system set up with, uh, with all sorts of goodies. So, and, and then, of course, these two guard towers. So that those are my defenses for the settlement. Granted, I think this corner is a little weak compared to the others, but uh, I also don't recall being attacked all that much from over here. So... We'll see how it goes um, after I get attacked the first time. Here, let me actually remove this. I got all the dogs I need for now. I don't need, a, I don't need another one. Um, okay, so moving on down here, this is marketplace number one. And uh, this is my, uh, a traditional marketplace. So I typically organize my marketplaces like this. I am experimenting with a new way to do it with the, the marketplaces down the, the center aisle. Oh, there's another guy. But uh, I wanted to have some seating here, since there's not a lot of room in the rest of the settlement for seating. So I made the, t the shops line the outside rim of this elevated platform, and then I placed down some seating here with some pink paste food, because that sounds delicious, some stacked beans, or is that dog food? I can't even tell. I'm sure humans eat dog food in a post-apocalyptic world. And some bar stools with the nice backs so that I can see where they're sitting. And this marketplace. That's marketplace number two, or number one. 
this is my engine my engine room so I've got two water pumps uh, uh, powered water pumps right here each delivering 10 water and this shack with the red door came with the settlement and let me open it and you can see I've got it filled with all of those um, en uh, engines and the reason I keep them in an enclosed structure like this is because the first thing your enemies will go for are your engines because if they can knock out your generators then all of your um, missile turrets and power defenses go down so I keep all of my generators in this building but as I started building more and more defenses I quickly gosh my FPS is just tanking I don't get it um, I quickly ran out of um, space in this tiny little shack so I built another little shack perched right on top of it and inside this second shack I have even more um, engines I've got a nice little cooking station right here. This is a functional cooking station. And my unassigned settlers will sometimes use the it to cook food. Here's my farm. So I removed all of the uh, the potatoes and moot fruits and all the, all the crops that were here. And I replaced them with carrots. And it just so happened that this rectangular farm area was just large enough exactly for my 72 carrots. And for the first time ev ever, I think I, f I finally organized them in straight lines. So I'm pretty pleased with this little farm area. It's looking good. And I have six settlers and only six settlers at assigned to farming, making me happy. I've got a fire barrel here. This came with the Wasteland Workshop, and some of my other unassigned settlers can just hang out here. And here is marketplace number two working with, the gunners. with the entrance over there. Me. And who do we have? Why, none other than McCready, just hanging out, eating some ribs with a Gwinnett stout. So I've got uh, another eating area on the inside of this marketplace with some deathcloth steak, all sorts of food laid out here for them to eat. Uh, and then there's my second bar. So I've got two bars. One bar over yeah, there, which attracts really settlers at night and in the morning, and then one bar here, Last time we talked, which attracts I settlers in the, in the morning. Oh, dude, story. stop talking to me about your feelings, buddy. Go away. Oh, that's one thing I hate about these guys. So two bars to attract settlers uh, after their work hours, and then just a bunch of other uh, clothing shops. I have these primarily to help generate I happiness for myself. Drink. Now, um, it, the Brahmin are the most annoying creatures in the game, and uh, so I exiled them to this section over here. They're segregated from the rest of the facility. Here are their feeding troughs, and they tend to stick over here. I only have one scrap station because based on some research that I've started to do, you don't, you don't, I can't believe I haven't removed that mod yet. I'm just so mad at myself. Um, the mod that gives farts to Brahmin. But anyway, based on some initial research that I've been doing, you don't get more scrap if you have more than one scrap station. At least that's what I think. I still have more testing to do, but based on, on some experimentation that I've done, one scrap station is enough because you don't make more scrap the more scrap stations you have. Here's the third and final um, powered water pump way over here in the corner with the two final hand water pumps that I need to get to exactly 36 water. 36 is my magic number for my supplements. Alright, I have a nice coffee station over here. Enjoying your coffee, miss? I'm glad. And then this, this is their house. I decided to use one one big shack to save some space and I made it overlooking this rocky I, I perched it on this rocky outcrop so that they can overlook this nice valley which is taking my FPS only when I record video ladies and gentlemen it's, it's not like my gameplay is this choppy I don't understand I, I, this is, I'm starting to have this problem now that I'm using fraps but the reason I started to use fraps was to avoid this exact problem otherwise I was using OBS so I don't know I don't know why my FPS is so slow right now Eh, I'll get into it later. I'll figure it out. So the only noise these poor settlers have to deal with is the farting Brahmin next door. But they, uh, they've they got a nice window that uh, that overlooks this spectacular view. They've got this open area that, that where they can see the freeway overpass. And then up here, they can see the entire settlement from the balcony of their house. With their chairs up here. This isn't decorated very well. I, I admit that I could decorate this a little bit better. Haven't had a chance to get to it yet, but maybe I will in the future. But from up here, they can see everything. They can see their defenses. They can see all of the marketplaces. They can see the guard towers. 
it's uh you know it's it's attractive it's not a bad little settlement so there's my 10 pines uh 10 pines bluff ladies and gentlemen hope you liked what you saw let's give a let's get a, a eagle eye view And there it is, eagle eye view of Ten Pines Bluff with tons of choppy lag. Gosh, this is making me mad. As interpreted by Oxhorn. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and you all have a pleasant day.